Hello, how are you? I hope you are fine. In previous lecture of HTML5 series, we learn about Markov tag and its attribute, and also we learn about Fabiton of a web page. Today, we will learn about table tag. When we want to show data in tabular form, then we use table tag. So now I will create a simple table with two rows and two columns. After this, we will we will make advanced table so then your concept will be clear too much so i will open my editor i will make new file file new i will set the title of a web page is table tag i will save the file name is table dot html save to create a table we will use that table tag start and table tag end right in table we have rows and column first we uh, first we have the rows then column so columns depend upon the rows right so i will create two rows and two columns first row in first row we have the heading in rows when we want to show the heading we will use th when we want to show the data we can use td right in first row i will make two heading name and the email right in set i will make second row and make two column now i will type the td name in first other name will be rizwan shahzad email will be the agile at the red gmail not i will save the file and open the file in the web browser here data is shown name email rizwan shahzad agile at the red gmail we create the table but it not looks like a table so for this we will have some attribute in the table in table we have the attribute border by default border is 0 if i will set 10 you can see it the border is too much wide or thick right we will set the border 1 then you can see it right the border is is thin now right here we can see the data in the cells or column. Columns are the cell are near the bo near the border line of cells. Right? We want to give space around the text. So for this we will have the attribute cell padding. Right? Cell padding. I will give the cell padding space 10 you can see it space ar around the text is 10 if uh, I will give the space 100 then too much space around the text right you can see it right so it's good I will give the space 10 right I will save it and reload the page now you can see the space between the column we can manage it by using the attribute cell spacing right if i will give the space in 50 you can see the cell spacing is 50 among the columns or cells right so i will give the space is 5 right 
you can see it two right if i will, will give the space one then it will be this one right i hope you understand it very well our basic table is is templated now we now we will make the advanced table i will show you what we we will make in advanced table right in advanced table we will make this table this type of table right in the first row we have the user information in second row we have the name email address gender and the photo in third row date of birth city in fourth row address right we have four rows one two three and four column right four rows and four column right we will make it right i will give the heading right simple table i will make the line horizontal line then i will give the heading advanced table right all will table make the table start with table tag we have the four row i will make four row row 1 row 1 in in first row we have four columns in first row we want to show the user information right we will type heading th heading only one not four right i will type user information in second now we will go to the second row right in second row we have four columns one two three and four i will type the td for data in first column i will type name rizwan shizad and email address visit rizwan at the red hotmail gender male then we will want to show the picture right for picture we have the image attribute right image source in html5 folder we have the folder name images in images there's a, uh, a picture name is user and its uh, extension is .png you can see it by click by right click on the image it's png right i will the images slash user dot png i will save it then we have the third row in third row we have two columns we will not consider this column in third row because this column is with the second row i will explain it later right now in third row we have two columns city lower right 
in fourth row we will have only one column we will not consider this column in fourth row also it is uh, attached with the second row right I will save the file and here I will add some attributes of table border is 1 cell pad in 10 cell space in 1 right I will save it and reload the page I will zoom in so that it will load on one page right right here it's not look like which so still we not made the right table there are little bit more attributes we will use then it will be same as we want in the end right you can see it this is row number one only one column right we can see it first row column takes the space of four column so so we will use the column spam I will reload the page you can see it it will be in the center after first row we will go to the fourth row right F fourth row column takes the space of three column right we will do it and last column spam 3 we will save it and reload the page you can see it right In third row, number two column takes the space of two column, right? Column spam two. Now we will go to the second row. Second row will take the space of two more rows, right? Then uh, we can say it uh, in row number two column of photo takes the two more rows right then in td we will type the attribute row spam three now you can see it we achieve over result I hope you understand it very well. For any query or information, please comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Take care.